There's no higher octave on it. Now it was like one bar, maybe that part should be two bars, and then we're going to the last chorus. So after the solo. Well, as I, since I grew up with like 70s music, I've been listening a lot to Fleetwood Mac, Bob Dylan, uh, Rolling Stones, but also a lot of soul like Stevie Wonder, uh, Aretha Franklin, Average White Band, 10 Years oh, After. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, but I'm also like into modern contemporary music. Uh, I will listen a lot to a singer named Erika Badu. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. super cool. She like uses her voice more like an instrument. Yeah. And I think that's uh, super unique. And since the voice is an instrument, like an instrument also. Yeah, that's true about Erika Badu for sure. Um, okay. Now, what's the experience like for you now that you're in the studio versus playing live? Um. Wow, it's, it's a bit of an adjustment. Yeah, it is. Um, I've been playing a lot live. Um, I mean, here you got the opportunity to like dig super deep in one song and, and like nail, make it like perfectly super smooth and super good. Um, you, you don't really have time for that when you play live, but um, no, but it's two different things. I love connecting with the audience and, and get like the the live feeling but this is super educating mm. because you learn so much and all these um, musicians they're like yeah they invent new parts of the it's songs. Like going to school a yeah bit. totally yeah. so I'm just here uh, soaking just, it up yeah it's like Christmas <laughs> Look at these instruments and all the amps it's just like uh, it is like Christmas yeah, yeah. And this this is like for Easter's keys I had in Hammond organ my brother had that when I grew up so I'm just yeah super nice great okay 